the guy says, well, wait a minute. If you, you can't love me and love today's wrestling. Yes. The, you, exactly. the, you, you're, you're a hypocrite. Everyone, you're either with me or you, you can't love both. What's going on, everybody? Dr. Chris Featherstone here for yet another episode of Writing with Russo. That's a tongue twister. Writing with Russo. We purposely did that. So uh, I will challenge myself every week not to get caught in the tongue twister bug. So writing with Russo. And you should try it. Uh, if you're listening to this, you should try to say that five times to see how many times you are successful. But you can't have writing with Russo without the man himself, Vince Russo. How are you tonight, my man? I am doing a good, Chris, but I can't believe this writing with Russo was a little different, bro. And I'll mm -hmm. tell you why. why. Because usually, bro, if you throw a talent out at me... Um, oh, by the way, uh, Chris, uh, because uh, Sports Kita retweeted that I said the only two good things on the show were the you, she is now she's now following me. So I just she, want, yes. I, want to say, I got the Eva Marie follow. Which yes. I'm, I'm very happy about. Yes, we we, yeah. we put Eva over yes. more than her vignettes has so far. And you know who else followed me because of this show? Uh, because you guys tweet, you guys are my best form of promotion, and I thank you for that very much. Yeah. I got a follow from Buddy Murphy today because Very nice tweeted out that i said bro that was the best match i've seen in i don't know how long yeah. buddy murphy and alistair black mm -hmm. pummeled each other bro yeah. and i can't match. believe that both guys are not on television that blows me away it's crazy but anyway bro this is a little different because usually you throw somebody at me and off the top of my head i could boom 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 this was different for a couple of reasons because first of all, bro, you've got a guy that's been on the roster for about 10 years, okay? Bro, You, this is not a jab at Cesaro or anything, but bro, you got a guy that's like a little bit vanilla. Mm -hmm. And part of that problem is, bro, that they've never, I, I, I've, you know, bro, this is the first time I had to do research before a show. Because I usually can give yourself off the top of my head. I had to research Cesaro. Yep. And and when I say vanilla, bro, it's because they've never they've never really given him anything. I remember, bro, for about 15 minutes, he was doing that bond gimmick. Yep. That, that went no, no place. And I don't yep. know, bro, is 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 the gimmick that he's the greatest wrestler in the world? I mean, I don't know what it is. But, bro, after 10 years, when somebody has been presented the same way, and, bro, let's face it, he, he's, a, he's a black trunk guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, he doesn't have ring of talk. Like, he, he is, okay, bro, here's Cesaro's gimmick. He's a great wrestler. Yeah. Bro, nobody's arguing that. But how do we get him over? Yes. You know, I mean, how do we make him larger than life? So this one was a little tough, bro. So... I had to do a little research and it was really me going back to the well of what I always did, bro. I told you whenever somebody was ready to come up, I would sit down with them and have that in-depth conversation and try to pull stuff out from their real life. That was interesting, made them unique. They could sink their teeth into it and they would just have to magnify it and become larger than life. Mm -hmm. And, bro, I was going through Cesaro's entire history, bro, entire history. And then, ah, that's it. Okay. I read this that was so interesting to me. And, bro, I'm going to hit you with something. And uh, I think I'm going to boggle your mind. This is what stood out to me, bro. He has said, we're talking about Cesaro now. He had he has said that he prides himself on holding high personal values and presenting himself as a professional in both his personal and work life. Elaborating in July 2015, here it is, bro. Older values of older times that are not as much around anymore are still very important to me. You have to be a professional 
in every single thing you do. So older values of older times that are not as much around anymore are still very important to me. I cannot believe, Chris, for the life of me. Bro, I am in an age group uh, where there are a lot of people in their 50s and 60s, bro. I'm I'm at 60, Mm -hmm. and I'm talking about workers in the business, okay, bro, that don't even watch today's product because it's not wrestling. Yeah. And they they don't enjoy it and they don't watch it. Right. And they, they will tell you that. And, bro, to me, it, it doesn't have to be an ex-wrestler. I guarantee you there are a lot of guys in their 50s and 60s that don't watch this anymore because to them it's not wrestling. Mm-hmm. Okay? Bro, I cannot believe that one of these companies – have not had a character playing that part on television, sticking up for the old tradition and what wrestling used to be and working that way in the ring and talking about the car rides where I learned from this one, where I learned and talking about working the different territories, talking about what the business used to be and now hell bent on bringing us back to that, which means put me in the ring with one of these Circus Soleil performers and I'm going to break both their legs. Put me in the ring. with. I cannot believe nobody has done that. You know why, Chris? Because all of us out here have this voice. So yeah. if there were a talent on TV saying what we say, guess what, uh, Chris? You may bring those people back to the product, ripping everything they do today and everything that happens today and waiting to catch the guy on the outside of the ring and everything we despise. Chris, seriously, you're a psychologist. How has nobody not done this? Yeah, it's a lot of times we get so used to routine that we it 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 it, it creates it makes our creative juices continue to drip away and it causes us to be lazy in the routine. Right. And so what what we've seen in pro wrestling lately and over the past, probably 10, 15 years is that we get too lazy in the routine and the bar starts to lower. You know I mean? We're, we're two people who don't mind roasting because we don't have an attachment to WWE to just kind of bridle our tongue or something like that. But at the same time, we see wrestlers. I mean, we see fans who really like put their the stake in the ground, put their flag down, and defend the product that we see right now because the bar has become so much lowered that you know, fifteen years ago, if someone would have been like this, you know what I mean, just waiting for them. They look at that and be like, what the heck is going on here? This is right. crazy. Right. But because we get caught up in the repetitive nature of something, it become it, it kind of infuses in us and it kind of influences our paradigm. So that's 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 a psychological type right. of Right. Uh, way to way to way to explain that. So. Right. But that that's what I'm saying, bro. With this one character, you could bring all of us back in, like living. I love it. Yeah, yeah, tell yeah, that, that's what I think. I I can't <laughs> believe it is so simple. This is not Vince Russo writing with Russo the genius. Bro, this is kindergarten. For sure. This is, and bro, can you imagine them on even doing color commentator during one of these matches? Can you imagine, bro, and then just getting out of that seat and after everybody's killed themselves with every dive in the world, laying them all out. Just imagine the heat. Just just the just the heat that he would get from the modern day crowd you know what i mean and i would even say like I, I would i think this is a great idea i would play it to the nine you know like i would i would do i would like pretend to talk about you talk about caricatures all the time of something parody of something 
I would like do the whole thing and so oh, yeah. doing like oh, a boom yes. talk. Yeah. And I would just like move step away and just move it's just move and have the bro, bro, this is double heat. This yeah. is double heat because this is a guy that they love. Yeah. So if the guy says, Well, wait a minute, if you you can't love me and love today's wrestling. Yes. Then you, exactly. then you, you're, you're hypocrites. Everyone, you're either with me or you You can't <laughs> love both. So he's got that because he is beloved. Yeah. And now he's joining the line. You, bro, you're on my side. You're against me. Now he's drawing the line. Yeah. And then he's ripping everything that these marks love. But like I said, bro, you could bring people like me back into this with a car i i it blows my mind that it hasn't been done